You're watching WMAR 2 News. Baltimore City is going to pay a local rap artist $300,000 over illegal criminal charges and harassment from a former member of the disgraced Gun Trace Task Force. I'm Christian Schaefer. This is your WMAR 2 News update. Kevron Evans, who performs under the name Young Moose, claims that former police officer Daniel Hersel planted drugs on him in 2012. Evans wound up taking a plea in that case and got a suspended jail sentence and probation. His lawyers say after that, Officer Hersel continued to harass Evans and try to get him to violate that probation. All charges against Evans were dismissed in 2020, and the city, as of this morning, has agreed to that $300,000 settlement. Daniel Hersel is now in federal prison. He served about four years of an 18-year sentence for his crimes related to the Gun Trace Task Force scandal. Congress is sending $15 million to the Port of Baltimore. It's coming from the U.S. Department of Transportation. It'll be used to improve the railroad infrastructure and safety at the port. The money will fund nearly 17,000 feet of track and two new cranes rail beams. The project is part of the port's efforts to expand capacity and will complement the work on the expansion of the Howard Street Tunnel as well. Taking a picture at Camden Yards could get your free Chick-fil-A for a year. Chick-fil-A has partnered with the Orioles to give 12 fans a chance to win. Fans have to take a picture with the life-size Chick-fil-A cow bobblehead, which is now in the kids' corner at Oriole Park. Post a picture on Instagram. Use the hashtag cow bobblehead sweepstakes. Contest starts this Saturday, June the 4th, and will run through August 24th. Orioles play the Cleveland Guardians on Saturday. First pitch set for 405. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy Wednesday, Maryland. Happy meteorological summer. Today is the first day of meteorological summer, and it runs through August 31st, and it's really going to feel more summer-like out there. Once again, we're going to be dealing with very hot and steamy conditions. Temperature-wise, we top out into the low to mid-90s this afternoon. And just keep an eye to the sky. We could be dealing with an isolated pop-up shower or thunderstorm, but nothing severe until we head into tomorrow. There is the potential of a few scattered strong to severe thunderstorms, which could produce strong damaging wind gusts, large sized hail and even the threat for isolated flooding. So tomorrow is really a day where you want to stay weather aware, especially if you have any outdoor plans and then really turning more uh, comfortable as we head into the weekend and less humid with lots of sunshine. Meteorologist Stevie Daniels, thanks very much and stay with WMAR2news.com all day long for updates on top stories and breaking news, news weather on the go. You can always download the WMAR2 News app from the App Store or just follow us on social media at WMAR2news. Thanks for watching. I'm Christian Schaefer.